Today I was presented with the toughest oil filter I have ever had to remove. Very common filter. It's on a lot of Toyotas. It's on the Prius, Corollas. It's even on some of the Lexus. Tons of threads out there. People having a heck of a time getting these off when they're over tightened. Even Toyota printed on their box. What's that say, Tex? Do not over torque. Well, somebody definitely went to town on the one I'm working on. Here are some tools I would highly recommend for removing oil filters. This is a pretty standard metal strap wrench. It's adjustable. No, did not work on this one. This guy has always worked. Nylon strap wrench. Gets tighter as you use it. Nope. Here's the jaws of death. Often destroys the filter, but always got it off. Not this time. Now this cap wrench is made specifically for this Toyota filter cap and you'll notice on top we can plug a 27 millimeter socket straight onto it or you can plug a 3 8 inch drive straight into it. On the inside you have 14 flutes that match the cap. You've also got interlocking teeth that will grab the ears on the filter cap. This is the 27 millimeter socket that we're going to use. Now I'm going to save you a little time here. I've tried it by hand and couldn't do it, so we're going to go straight to a power wrench that has a maximum torque of 300 foot-pounds. There it is, just waiting. Now I've already tried all those other tools that I've shown you, so let's go ahead and try this cast metal cap wrench that's designed specifically for the Toyota filters. This is just a test, I just wanted to demonstrate how it only fits one way. Okay, so we've got that on there. And we've got our 27 millimeter socket. There's plenty of room, so let's go ahead and put the socket on the uh, impact wrench. It's on maximum setting. Again, 300 foot pounds. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to save you guys some time, put this in fast forward. Didn't take too long, and uh, with this thing set on the maximum 300 foot pound torque setting, as you'll see, we eventually get success which is a wonderful thing. In fact, that's worth watching again in slow motion. Let's check that out. Finally, tried everything on this thing and it's finally come loose. Still a little too tight for hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it a few more turns with the power wrench. All right, fantastic. Now I can finish taking it off by hand and we can have a look at how old this filter is. Probably, now even though I just came across this problem, you just know this filter probably hasn't been changed for a while given how hard it was to get it out. So sure enough, it is a very dirty old filter, so going to be glad to get rid of that. I'm sure the car is going to be happy. Now the brand new filter comes with an O-ring and then I, I went ahead and picked up, this is the uh, drain plug gasket. It's good to replace that as well. So here's the old one, so we'll go ahead and make sure we put a new gasket on the drain plug. I seriously had to hammer away to get the uh, cap wrench off of this thing because they were really seized together and if you look at it you can see the effects of many attempts to get this thing off the car including my clamp wrench and the marks that it left. So the new filter's on there. To get the uh, old o-ring off you don't have to dig at it with a screwdriver or anything. Just go ahead and squeeze it forward and it'll pucker up and you'll be able to grab it and pull it off. And the new one, just put it on the clean side over the filter like that. And once it's in the correct place, just put a little oil, rub a little oil on there, and it should be good. The box does have instructions, at least the, the OEM box has instructions, so you make sure you get the O-ring in the right place. And there's a few other useful instructions on the box too. Well, let's get this new filter on the car. I've got it hand screwed on a little bit now. Forgive me, I'm going to resist any temptation to put a power tool on here. I'm just going to tighten this by hand. Toyota's recommended torque, yes there is a recommended torque for this, it's less than the drain plug. It's 18 foot-pounds. I recommend quite snug. That should be sufficient. What you won't find are a bunch of internet threads talking about how these things fall off all the time because they're too loose. What do you do next? You put the fresh oil in. In case you didn't know, this is where that happens. What kind of oil do we put in? Well, at least with the Prius anyway, 
they like uh, zero 20 so we're gonna go with the zero weight how much do we put in well as you can see I drained it into this container this is how much I took out liters on the left quarts on the right a little less than four quarts so let's start with that once you've got your oil in and you've got your level set then we can go ahead and let the car know that we changed the oil we're going to do that by resetting the oil service light first make sure that you're in trip a mode then shut things off keep your feet off the pedals now go ahead and hold down that kilometer button while you're holding it press the power button once now press the power button again you'll hear five nice little chimes to tell you you did it right okay well that was definitely the uh the toughest filter i've ever had to take off somebody definitely over torqued that thing this helped you guys out hope you give a thumbs up and subscribe maybe share this with somebody trying to do the same thing thanks for watching